an historic agreement today between Ottawa and the Assembly of First Nations on how to fund an overhaul of the Indigenous child welfare system. The government passed Bill C-92 last year to reduce the number of Indigenous youth in care and allow their communities to create their own child welfare systems. The legislation came into effect this year but did not include any funding. Assembly of First Nations National Chief Perry Bellegarde says this is a big step in recognizing Indigenous sovereignty. It's about improving the quality of life for our children. Uh, we know there's 40,000 children in foster care uh, right across Canada. And when Bill C-92 was passed, it was about making a difference and making sure that those children were looked after, that they were able to be kept home in their families and communities surrounded by their, their relatives. And that's really what this is about making a difference for the children that are in care. CTV's Molly Thomas joins me now from Ottawa. So, Molly, walk us through today's agreement, what it means. Yeah, so Beb, we were hoping to hear uh, more about the funding allocation of this program, as Chief Belgar pointed out, which is so fundamental uh, to First Nations' right and to caring for their children on their own, uh, children in the foster care system. Uh, we didn't hear that today. All we knew, all we learned is that there will be a joint fiscal table. So basically going forward, you're going to have First Nations leaders, uh, federal leaders from Ottawa coming together to figure out a needs-based uh, approach, saying this is what we need from a smaller community, this is what we need from a bigger community, and then figuring out the funding after that. You know, critics are, are wondering if this is a little too slow. Like you said, this is a, a bill that came out last June. National standards were put in place in January for care for children, Indigenous children, that would be a part of this program. And yet today in the MOU, we were hoping for some kind of funding announcement. We do know that some of the needs, though, Bev, have been established because Minister Miller, the Minister of Indigenous Services, has asked the Prime Minister for some budgetary asks. He wouldn't elaborate exactly what that means or what the dollar figure is, but there has been some asks to the Prime Minister, and we know here in Ottawa that there have been millions and millions of dollars doled out, and so a lot of critics around this are wondering if this is really the priority. The AFN, by the way, has uh, said that a child welfare system like this would cost around $3.5 billion, but we don't have any more numbers on the table today. No, but they, what they were talking about today as well, Molly, is just how many Indigenous children are currently in the welfare system across this country. Yeah, it's massive. 40,000 children, right? And if you think of the proportion of people that are uh, First Nations in our country, it's just 7% of the population, and yet that is overwhelmingly uh, First Nations kids that are in the foster system. And so really this agreement is to make sure that these, these children have a chance to grow up in their communities, in, in, in homes that have ancestral roots of their people, and, and also give that autonomy to, to the First Nations people. One part that is really interesting for our viewers out there, Bev, that they should keep in mind, Quebec is actually challenging... Uh, this this bill. They're challenging it in court and they're basically saying that this is the right of the provinces, um, of their province, to, to, to administer foster care. And so uh, that's going to be a problem going forward for sure because Quebec is up against it. Minister Miller seemed pretty confident today that uh, that will be shot down in the courts. Um, Chief Perry Bellegarde, you know, kept saying, you know, we really hope that provincial leaders will come together, that they'll embrace change, they'll be ready to come to the table because they need all of the provinces on board as well, Bev. But remember, the foster care system is also a money-making side, right? That people make money off of that, the provinces do. And so this is a massive shift, not only in autonomy, but a massive shift in the way that you look at finances around foster care as well. Yeah, that court case, Quebec just wants to make sure that they keep the jurisdiction. We'll be following that model.